Okay. Hello everybody, how are you doing today? Welcome back. It's time for another reaction video. And obviously I'm sitting here on the floor because we need to have a bit of patchy today. We need to have a bit of patchy cam because he's so freaking adorable today. So once again, we're doing this in chronological order. From the very first time I went to Japan to the second time and this is episode 3 of my first trip and I am still in Tokyo. Um, I remember this episode quite well, well, maybe not the episode, but I remember this day quite well because uh, I discovered Asakusa for the first time and I fell in love with it. Oh, I can't wait to watch this episode. I have so many memories which are kind of mixed with the other times I went to Asakusa but Oh, there was nothing like that first time. I know it's touristy as heck, but that very first time I went to Asakusa and the Sensoji Temple, I was like, Phew. stars in my eyes, everything was wonderful. I also do remember that it was very hot on that day, like the hottest day of that trip, <laughs> even though it was the end of September. So before we begin, as usual, guys, if you don't know me, I'm Iku. I'm an illustrator and clearly a YouTuber uh, who has been stuck here in Belgium for almost 16 months now, waiting for the Japanese borders to reopen. The issue is, yeah, the wait, but the main issue is that the Japanese government is not communicating at all with us international students, which makes things impossible to plan. I've just been in limbo, other students have been in limbo, waiting and un unable to plan for the future. I have a few videos on that subject so please check them out and also check out the link in the description for the website education is not tourism which has stories from all students around the world who are waiting who are suffering who are losing their mental health physical health money everything so check out the link in the description and please keep sharing the hashtag education is not tourism it's very important at this point in time because once the olympics are over in tokyo we really need to get in we really need to push to get in as soon as the olympics are finished and which is why we need to be heard right now let's hang in there guys let's keep pushing um we really need your help we really really do so this is it for the announcements very serious business i know i am you know being a little sarcastic and humoristic but it is very important guys it's people's lives it's my life it's it's getting very troublesome, but I am in a much better mood um, compared to that last video and I am looking forward, I'm trying to read which one is left and right, <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to seeing the third episode, which is Solo Trip to Japan, the first one, so from 2017, episode 3, Strolling Through Asakusa. Yeah, I have very fond and strong visual memories from that one, so... Um, Let's go ahead. Morning everybody. It's Thursday 12th and I'm on my way to Asakusa today. True, I don't even remember what's there, but it's on the second half of the area map from my hostel. So yesterday I went to Ueno, which was on one side and today I'm doing the other side. And I don't think it's 10 a.m. yet and I'm already dying. It's super hot. Unbelievably hot. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes from now. I am a sweaty, horrible mess. But I've arrived at Asakusa and this is just the entrance, I believe. Behind me you have the infamous uh, gacha machines where you can get gacha on. Okay, I'm pausing it already because uh, as I mentioned, I have so many memories. Uh, the walk was quite long, which is why I'm super sweaty. As mentioned previously, I walked everywhere I could to limit my... Um, to really limit my transportation budget because I'd already spent a lot on the JR Pass. Not all subway lines were JR. And I had a feeling I was a little scared to use the JR Pass on the JR lines in the first few days. That might be the reason why I'm walking maybe more than necessary. I'm not all too sure. Um, but yeah, I remember that maps me took me through all the back streets, which is why I arrive in Asakusa in a weird location 
So it's not Google Maps. It's really like this. I don't know. Matinee is good, but it's it's recommended routes are different <laughs> than what you expect. I remember arriving like directly on this giant Don Quixote, like this dying donkey that everybody spoke about. So I was like, oh my god! And then the gacha. My first memory of Asakusa isn't Sensoji. I don't think I even know what Sensoji really is at that point because I'd written down so many temples in my to-do list. First memory is the Don Quixote, which I think I'm gonna go in now or later. This is the one I'm gonna get. You either have apple, watermelon, banana, strawberry, I don't know. This one is melon, I think, not sure, and orange. I don't know which one I want. I like the apple, it's pretty cute. I have an apple is that is. ridiculous. And the strawberry one, I like. I like those three. I think I got the so least I get. interesting one. I think one. this is about, um, I think it's 300 yen. I don't even mm -hmm. know if I have that change. I'll the check. If not, I'll have to come back later. Okay, so I found 300 yen, which is Who remembers just what I got? Euros. I know I'm a little crazy. First so time let's using see gotcha. if I can figure this one out, or if I'm absolutely a stupid tourist It's kind of expensive for what it is. You just twist this. And there we go. And it looks like I got the orange one. So with all the temples I'm gonna see on this trip and all the offerings and prayers I'm going to do, I expect a lot of good luck. Yeah, I could have used that good luck, not gonna lie. Like after that trip, things weren't so good in a lot of aspects. Exactly. First time trying Omikuchi, I think it was called Omikuchi. I've been dying to do that. Look at my little Daruma tattoo that it looks much more fresh than it does now. And I think I got a really good look. Or like just good luck. But it's like today I'm gonna enjoy street food more than anything. Uh, this is I think I'll correct myself while editing. Um, it kind of looks like a nikuman. Mm. So uh, I think it's the same principle. It's like a steamed bun, but inside it is a vegetables and pork. I think so. so it's maybe like food. kind of a stir fry inside a bun. I'm not sure. We'll see. Right now it's steaming hot. Okay, yeah, let me try and remember what happens here. It may have been that day or a completely other day, but I feel like that was the day I was out exploring and obviously Asakusa is huge. There are galleries everywhere. You can just turn and turn and come back and there'll always be something new. Um, I was in a mood to just see everything. I was afraid to miss anything. I just wanted to like soak everything up. I just... <sighs> like these days, I don't... I think I would do it so much. Obviously, I love walking through and discovering, but I'm not in the mood to. I'm not in the mindset of being like, oh, what's that and what's that and what's that. I might be like, oh, what's that and then move on. I am still curious and I still want to learn, but as for this first trip, everything I had to know what it was. It took me ages to go through these little galleries in Asakusa. One thing that I didn't mention, or I might mention later if I come back, but I feel like. That was the first time people asked me to take photos with them, which was really cute. It was cute when it was like um, teenagers, like schoolgirls with their little uniforms and they took like pictures with the filters. That was really cute. Um, it was less cute when it was this weird guy that was following me. I think that happens next. This guy just 
had this creepy aura that's what i remember and i didn't he was following me and i wanted to try and get away and but i didn't like you're a foreigner you don't know how to speak language it's just it's so confusing so that's what i remember um uh, kind of talking to people on the street for the first time taking photographs discovering this very touristy area and uh, really enjoying it i don't remember enjoying it that much the next times i think it was even more crowded or maybe my anxiety was worse who knows um yeah okay let's continue you know what i'm surrounded by people who are eating and i don't care i'm gonna vlog i found a spot in the shade and i'm gonna enjoy it while i try yet another thing another street food i'm full so this is probably the last thing. i believe it's called tayaki again i'll correct myself if i'm wrong and they have different fillings. I think usually, traditionally, it's red bean paste. This one, though, is it was pumpkin. Good. I said I would try pumpkin flavored stuff when I came to Japan, and I'm going to do that right now. This is hot, by the way, which I wish it wasn't. <laughs> now the mm. This is amazingly good. It's sweet flavored. The pumpkin. I can taste it, but it's not overwhelming. So, inside, what is it? <laughs> That's a free like view thing in the boat. So I just got unbelievably lost. I was looking for this That's place, what this bridge that I could cross across the Sumida River that you see behind me. You also see the. Hang on, there you go. Tokyo Tree and. Here you can see a part of what they call the Golden Turd, which is actually the Super Drive Hall or something like I'm that. I'm not the one who named it that way, guys, okay? I, I got comments saying it's not a turd, it's foam. It's in an actual guidebook. And then Oops, a camera cut off. We were talking about the Klingy guy. I'm just fast forwarding. Yeah, so Klingy guy happened. I got lost trying to find the bridge to cross that Sumida River. Um, and a tour guide actually saw me going back and forth and asked if I need help, needed help. Um, so that was really nice. <laughs> you know what? I just turned. Okay, so I'm going ahead. What I found behind me to see the sky tree. It wasn't in my plans. I just wanted to get closer to it, and then I just got closer and closer and closer to it. I don't know why I'm walking to there, but I guess I just want. I just want to go there. I just there's probably something to do around. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna walk to there, maybe rest up for a few minutes and see if I really want to do the one hour's walk or figure out how to go. It's like a garden place or if I do want to go there. It's in, it is pretty impressive though. I don't know if you can see it if I turn around. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Just waiting to cross the road. Finally found the sky tree. It took a while. And I've got this nice little music and guys, exactly what I was looking for. An area to sit and watch the sky tree. <laughs> I wonder how much it costs. Not that expensive. Maybe I'll go up. <laughs> That's how it happened. Basically, I wasn't expecting to go up. There was just like no line whatsoever, so I just went. And I don't regret it, it was really cool. editing this and wanting to put everything, all the shots. <laughs> Can you tell it's my first time in Japan? Everything is fantastic, everything is beautiful, everything is magical. I, I just, I wish I could rediscover it the same way. It'll always be magical to me. But seeing it for the first time is definitely an experience in itself so if you haven't gone to japan yet and you're planning to go treasure that that very first time 
Um, I'm not sure what's left. I remember that the next stop was way too far away and I was very tired from walking all day. I'd walked a lot during those <laughs> first few days to the point where, yeah, like I mentioned, my legs felt like falling off. So let's see what I do next. So I'm not really sure what to do right now because the next destination I wanted to go to don't, is over there and it takes one hour and a half to get there. I sh could check out which transportation I could use. That's why I'm not using not transportation. Yet. So either, see my hostel is there and it's gonna take an hour for me to get back. It's as you can see past 5 p.m. and it's getting dark already either I go back to Asakusa temple where I hear that at night it looks really pretty and then I go back already I can stay here as long as I want but yeah or I don't think I'm gonna go to the gardens today that was really nice to walk back at night that was also an experience in itself it was so pretty. <laughs> Bye, Asakusa. Ooh, that feels weird. <laughs> This particular day really was my favorite in Tokyo for that first trip. Like, definitely, definitely favorite. The first day was discovering Tokyo and a di whole completely different part of Tokyo. And then Asakusa was like, what felt like tradition, what felt like more traditional Tokyo, except obviously it's like a complete tourist trap. But <sighs> to little 2017 Iku, it was. Magical. <laughs> okay, how do you feel about this third episode compared to the two previous ones? Is it also one of your favorites? I think it's definitely an episode that has the most amount of views in between the two series. I have a feeling that it may be like third or even second, fourth most <laughs> viewed episode. So, um, so I'm curious to know uh, what you guys thought about it, if you remember it, if you've been to Asakusa yourself, if you liked it the first time or did it feel like a tourist trap like from the get-go. Like I mentioned before, like the next times that I went to Asakusa, the feeling wasn't the same, but it was much, much more crowded. I hope that when I walk through it again, I discover other aspects of it that are not like focused around Sensoji in that area. Though, um, I do want to give that Don Quixote a try because I do remember liking that Don Quixote better than the one I saw in, I think it was around the Shibuya area. Anyway, as usual, I could ramble and go on forever about this. Um, it was definitely one of my favorite days. The hottest day, I think, starting from the next episode, it starts raining and then it doesn't stop for a very long time. <laughs> Camera batteries flashing tell me it's time to wrap this up and to shut the f up. <laughs> uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm enjoying watching these back. It really does make me feel a little better and uh, make me more, well, maybe not more patient, but uh, it's making, it's bringing back the excitement that has been kind of lost over this past year and a couple of months kind of died down with this all this waiting so uh, it's it's lighting the fire back up so help us get there by sharing education is not tourism thank you so much and i will see you in the next one not sure what happens feel like i eat some ramen in the next one so hungry right now <laughs> and i hope you guys are well so speak to you in the comment section or on social media i look forward to hearing from you i'll work you all bye